Hi, everyone. Welcome. Um, we're going to be discussing Matterhorn Transactions and our amazing partnership with Ecor. I'm Logan Byrne. I'm the CEO of Matterhorn. Um, and Matteo is vice president at Ecor. Um, so, quick little background on me, and then we'll have to hear Matteo's background from him as well. Um, my background is, you know, not anywhere near uh, development or any of these technical skills that Ecor has provided. Instead, my background is in uh, finance and law. Um, so I have a degree in undergrad um, from Fairfield University. I did my um, Fulbright in economics at Queens, um, and then I worked in private equity before attending law school. I graduated from Yale, and I went I returned to Yale to uh, write and teach. Um, and then meantime, um, a really interesting uh, project came up, and that's sort of where um, I got to meet Mateo. So, Mateo, I'd love to hear a little about um, your, about yourself first, and then we can jump right into the project that we're working on together. All right. Hello, everyone. Happy to be here with you today, Logan. My background is in um, computer science, so I come from a software development background originally. And from there, I went more into project management, service delivery management, and ultimately sales and account management, which are the areas I focus on today. So through my experience with Equar, I mostly have helped us establish new relationships with clients and also oversee delivery uh, to make sure that those projects are successful to the business objectives of our clients. Um, so I had the pleasure of um, investing in and starting a, a couple of companies. And I've worked with um, Mateo and Ecor on two of them already because it's done, it's gone so well. So if we go jump to the next slide, I can jump right into to Matterhorn, which is going to be the, the topic of this conversation. Um, so Matterhorn started in 2011 and um, we weren't clever enough to think of the idea. Instead, Goldman Sachs asked for it. So they uh, approached my main investor um, about the, the need to quantify what's market for mergers and acquisitions. And you know, as an attorney, um, this is super you know, an interesting idea because the way it had done, been done in the past was um, you'd go to your attorney and you know, he or she remember the last few deals they, they had done and say, oh, it's mostly done this way, um, which is a highly imperfect way of approaching um, these, these multi, often multi-billion dollar deals. Instead, um, Goldman was seeking, and we, we started building for them, a much more quantifiable way of saying, you know, these are the terms, you, you know, of not just the last four or five deals that your attorney remembers, but every deal that is done um, in the United States and, you know, we've expanded internationally as well. Uh, we'd like to see what are the metrics that we could derive from that and what language can we use. And this language becomes really, really important um, when you're negotiating the deals, when, when you're, um, or when you're, you're trying to draft for a new deal for your client. So we um, we started building it for you know for the financial institutions, for the banks, and then we worked with attorneys to do so. Of course, we were working with the attorneys and they were helping us to build this thing. And they said, wait a second, I need this too. And it's, of course, so the, the law firms themselves certainly needed this tool as well. Um, so we had this really um, interesting project that was ripe for, uh, for disruption. And, but again, my background is in law and, and finance. I don't have the skills to create such a thing. Um, so if you jump to the next slide, um, we, we met Ecor. Um, so we, we got, had the pleasure of meeting Ecor and we work with um, uh, Ecor and finding uh, a developer to help us sort of build this vision. Um, build, the, build the databases, the, the UX, you name it, um, to create this. To, 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 we started with a problem, and uh, a lot of good businesses start that way. You start with a problem, and then you back into the solutions. Um, so at this point, we're trying to bring together quite a few pieces. Um, we were trying to um, you know, solve the, the, on the financial side um, that the, the bank needed, what the law firms then needed, but then we need to do so um, in a way that they can, um, a group of often technophobic clients can easily work with this sort of um, trove of data. Um, so we got a chance to meet uh, with Ecor, and they um, connected us with the, um, uh, an amazing uh, developer, Rodrigo Rosas. Um, 
and he has helped us since the start. So the past 11 years, we've been working with Rodrigo and Igor on building this thing. Um, so could jump to the next slide. I could give a little more detail on how that has. Um, so we needed to build, um, we were taking uh, these merger agreements and then we expanded into credit agreements and other types of deals. And we wanted to pull together all the relevant deal data in a very, in a very intuitive way. Um, and then we had our team, our content team, uh, code these, these these deals according to 900 different provisions. So this is very granular uh, coding of da data. So you need to take all of this and you need to do, you sort of need to make it, you know, we focus so far on the, you know, the client facing side. So you, may, you need to make it very intuitive, but there's another problem as well. Um, to bring that data into the system, you need to work with, um, you know, attorneys and development uh, and content teams. So it's also easy to work on the, the backside of the system for them to add those 900 different provisions. So taking these deals, pulling together the documents, housing them so that users can easily see them and work with them, but then also have it easy for the, um, the content team, our content team, to manipulate that information to really break it down into portions um, so that then you could do all sorts of great things with it, you know, provide, you know, um, graphs and metrics. Um, so this is a, a pretty complicated task. And we had, you know, the vision for what needed to be done, but we didn't have the technical know-how to do it. Um, okay, so the next slide, please. Um, yeah, so what we did was um, we cover um, deals over 25 million that are, um, in the U.S. Um, and they're publicly filed. So we've got, and we've also expanded into private documents for law firms as well, where they want their private deals. And um, so this, you know, creates, um, you know, more challenges. So we started with sort of the basic problem of, of, of you know, working with um, Ecor and Rodrigo to build the system, this database that could, again, it was flexible. It was easy to use. It was something that we could, um, you know, could sort of, you know easily search, you know, have a, a very flexible search. Um, but then we, of course, as you keep building as a company, um, we expanded internationally, we expanded into UK and Canada as well, and in different deal types. And um, that, you know, created new challenges. It meant that we were working with our distribution partners, um, we were distributed by uh, LexisNexis and Walters Kluwer. So we need to have um, proper APIs to distribute through them and sort of integrate with their systems, and the products that they are selling. Um, we needed to um, also, people liked the system, the search tool that we work with Ecore to build so much. And it seemed so intuitive and provide all sorts of great charts and graphs um, that they, um, you know, they want it for their own private documents. So that means, okay, now we're not just sort of doing a cloud-based product that we're delivering to everyone. Now we need to take that and make a containerized version of it that we can install behind the firm's own firewalls. Um, so then we used to keep to keep, you know, you know, repackage the whole thing. And at each turn, um, you know, we work with it, we turn to Ecor and work with Rodrigo, you know, our, our go-to guy, he's brilliant. Um, and also supplement um, with other developers along the way. We've worked with uh, two other developers from Ecore, in addition to Rodrigo. Um, some, you know, when they're helping with UX type things as other projects arise, um, it enabled us as, you know, a not huge company to be very flexible in, you know, in, in sort of, you know, working with this, these developers when we, when we need them, you know, very badly. And then when we sort of, you know, need them less and they just could cycle on to other projects. Um, but we've been working with, you know, Rodrigo consistently for the full 11 years. Um, if we could switch to the next slide, please. Um, so there's, you know, there's many components once, you know, we're constantly building the thing, certainly. But at the same time, we need support as well. And we, and when you work in this area with you working with these banks and law firms, these can be very demanding clients, um, you know, as they should be. But, you know, they're they're paying for you know excellence, and, and we need that excellence in our in our support and the continued development as clients um, seek new features. Um, we built a lot of features along the way. Um, these are other ones like they want to be able to share the um, their information with other with clients outside the firm. So the private documents product, uh, recently we built a sharing tool that would allow 
uh, a client who's not behind the firm's firewall to see their information, to see how it's categorized, and they can see their own info. But we need to be able to share that information um, without, you know, by you know, getting around the, the firewall when the law firm wanted to do so. So that created a really interesting problem, and that created um, a share tool. And we, we developed that as well. And then we sort of, then we found, okay, well, wait, we could also use a share tool in doing uh, in media. So another use of the product is to, um, we, it powers news articles about deals. Um, so we write weekly um, news articles using the system to pull data and do sort of, you know, lead tables about which law firms, um, you know, are doing the most deals about trends and in industries, uh, you name it. And this sort of, this product now feeds those news articles. Um, but then we used, we sort of had dual use for that share tool because just like it could share um, in, in information outside of the law firm, it can also be used to share things very publicly um, from inside our database. So you could sort of embed that, those shares about those specific points of the deal that you want to share um, into the articles that we're writing. So it's a great way to, um, you know, to, 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 um, provide this information broadly and also get new clients because they're seeing all of the amazing things that our system can do and we're using the media and this this feature that Rodrigo developed to do so. Um, another thing that we did that um, people really enjoyed was um, save you know alerts. So this is sort of you know creating a uh, dashboard approach to how you work. And this is the idea that when a, a, an attorney, for instance, who's using this product, wants to um, be, you know, to keep on top of things. So this is whether it's within their own firm or whether it's more broadly speaking, it's the entire market. They're looking at our, our public documents product. They need to be alerted when some a deal um, is in their industry, so they can keep on top of things there. Um, they can search any which way to be alerted when you know a deal of this type or using this sort of clause um that's relevant to them and their practice um arises and they'll be alerted immediately so they can really keep on top of the market and they really know what's happening um that sort of helps them to really show you know how valuable their knowledge is to their their own clients um and if you want to jump to the next slide please yeah so um Thank you, Logan, for walking us through. I think it's very interesting, uh, the solution and how it allows, um, from, from what I understand, not only for attorneys to have their experience and their gut feeling about some of these deals, but actually bring this information and search for this information and really uh, have a database uh, that will inform their decision in those deals. So I find this, this solution to be very interesting among the most interesting ones we've developed. And from a technical perspective, there are four areas that we wanted to highlight here and bring in some color as to the technologies that were involved. The first one for the data storage, uh, there is a combination of both SQL and NoSQL databases with Postgre and Mongo. Uh, there are caching mechanisms with Redis and also specifically better FS for file system for the documents, all of that to ensure the, also the, um, the performance of the application, considering the large amount of data we're talking about. Um, we introduced monitoring features as well, including SensuGo, uh, which helps us identify any issues quickly and, and act on them. And for the application development, primarily what we used was Ruby in the back end and uh, JavaScript and some of the latest frameworks such as jQuery and React uh, for the front end, uh, source code hosted on GitLab. And for the, um, the text search, like we're saying, it's really um, contracts. So it's not necessarily structured data. So for full text search, search we used Apache Solar Library. And to give you an idea of uh, the amount of data we're talking about, uh, right now the database includes more than 70,000 documents across more than 15,000 deals. Uh, and each one of those can have hundreds of pages. Uh, and it keeps growing. So as, as Logan was saying, with the importance of the alerts, for example, 
Uh, there are new deals being published and being made available every month. Uh, on average, three to five documents attached to, it, to every one of those deals. And I think one of the, the interesting things of the solution as well is that despite the complexity of the solution that includes both categorized, essentially uh, relying on fields, as well as open text search, uh, we can still deliver results in, in less than one second. So there's a lot of optimization that goes on there uh, to ensure those results. And to finalize, I guess we can uh, do a little bit of Q&A. And uh, from my side, I'd like to hear, Logan, and uh, from you a little bit of, you know, your experience with the performance of the search and maybe a little bit of what you hear from your clients as to how your solution has improved um, their day-to-day -day lives. Absolutely. Thank you. They. What's interesting in sort of our approach to all of this is that, um, you know, other products out there, um, they try to tell, you know, the, the clients what they think they want to hear or what they think they want to know. Instead, our, we provide ourselves as a, a, as a tool in which the the attorneys and, and the, um, the bankers, they know what's best. They know what they want. They know what's specific to their, their client and their deal. So instead of trying to sort of, you know, force, you know, what we think sort of, you know, high level things or what we think they want to hear, we put it in their hands. Um, but to do that, that means you need to make things really simple. And that always, that's always what um, impresses me the most. If you could take something really complicated and make it simple, you know, simple enough that I can understand it, that impresses me. Um, and Rodrigo, working with him and Ecor, has certainly been that. It's sort of, um, you know, I sort of can logic my way through things, but I don't know this sort of, um, I'm, I'm not a developer. I don't know how this works um, on the back end. I sort of know the goals we're trying to do. And, you know, perhaps, you know, over the years, I've picked up a lot of the logic of how things can work and cannot work from Rodrigo as he teaches me. Um, but then I rely on him and um, discussing with Ecor to supplement with other um, developers as we need them. To, to sort of not just say, uh, um, this is like a task-oriented project. It's, no, no, no. Rodrigo is part of the team. He is um, helping, he, you know, have, have join, joining calls with, with clients, joining um, conversations every which way. Because instead, the way Rodrigo and I work is we talk about the, the, the end problem, and then we sort of back into the technical solutions together um, to figure out how to solve it. Thank you, Logan. And um, I guess my final question would be, what do you see as trends and where do you see uh, this space and the product and solution evolving into in the next few years? Sure. So I think that a lot, um, we're moving more and more to use AI increasingly. So we're using, um, we've started building some natural language processing into the product in order to provide the law firms that are using the private um, documents product or for our public documents. Um, we have um, NLP that Rodrigo has helped us to sort of you know, work into the system where it processes this information and sort of provides what it thinks the output is. And then we do have um, our attorney teams uh, check it because I always I think that, you know, anyone I talk to, AI is not is an interesting, fascinating tool that's getting better and better is not magical. You need to check it, um, especially when you have very demanding clients where 70%, 70%, 80%, even 90% accuracy is not good enough, then you need to have attorney teams checking it. However, that NLP is really interesting and we're working more and more with it because it does help um, our attorneys who are doing the, the inputting and the content it speeds them up significantly and it reduces our costs. So it's definitely um, an interesting development that we're sort of working in, that's working more and more in our favor. Very good. Uh, well, I think uh, that uh, sort of concludes our presentation. I'd like to thank you once again, Logan, for joining us today. Uh, been a, a great partner for over 11 years, as you mentioned, and we look forward to continuing working with you. Thank you, I can't wait.